I'm Diane Grover, cosmetic chemist, trainer and assessor here with the Institute of Personal Care Science. Today I'm going to show you how to make a soothing cream cleanser. Now let me show you just how easy it is. So today we are making a calming cream cleanser. Check out the amazing colour of this. So just add a little bit of water to that. This is a really soothing, calming cleanser for the skin gentle foaming and the color comes from this extract that we're going to use this is alpine haymore extract or pear extract it's this great color it's like a charcoal color and this has got some really great efficacy data on being really anti-inflammatory on the skin it's also great for anti-aging and great antioxidant data on it as well but we're using it for its anti-inflammatory properties today so this is water soluble 90 percent water soluble so to get it to go into my formula really well i've just ground it down before before i put it in so it's a little bit finer a bit like trying to get an iron oxide into your formula the finer it is the easier it will go into your formula so let's get started and i'll show you how to make this okay so i'll start our soothing calming cream cleanser by adding some xanthan gum to some glycerin. Just gonna create a little slurry with that. Glycerin is a humectant, so it draws water into the stratum corneum of the skin and helps to maintain the skin's natural lipid barrier, making it less prone to irritation, inflammation, or transepidermal water loss. And of course, xanthan gum is a rheology modifier. Xanthan gum is very well tolerated by sensitive skin. It forms a soft cushiony gel that feels great on the skin. So once that's all mixed together in a nice little slurry, we will add that to the water. And then we can just pop the water on the heat. Okay, now for the materials that require heating. I have here some Hostapon CT paste, which is an extremely mild surfactant that has very low irritation potential. This surfactant helps clean without disrupting the skin's lipid barrier, reducing the risk of tightness and dryness after cleaning. And that's because it's a paste rather than a liquid. It gives a beautiful creamy texture. It's also eco-friendly and biodegradable. So to that, I'll add some Cosmo Wax D. Cosmo Wax D is a non-ionic emulsifying wax. It has very low irritation potential, making it ideal for sensitive skin. This will contribute to the smooth, velvety texture of our cleanser. And to that, we'll add some jojoba oil. Jojoba oil's molecular structure is very similar to human sebum, so it's readily accepted by the skin and helps balance oil production. It's lightweight and absorbs easily, so there's less risk of irritation or breakouts, even on acne-prone or sensitive skin. Now some polysorbate 20, which is a solubilizer. Because it's non-ionic and extremely mild, it's less likely to trigger barrier disruption in sensitive skin. Okay, so we'll pop that on the heat as well. So once they both reach around 75 degrees, we can combine them, but just under low shear because we don't want to introduce any bubbles into the surfactants. Then we can just put that aside and wait for it to cool down to below 40 degrees. So now that the formula is below 40 degrees, we can add in our heat sensitive material. So now for the star, this is Alpine Hylmore extract or pear extract. Just pop that in. It has this great charcoal color, which will give our cleanser a really cool gray tinge. So 
So the Alpine Harmo extract has some really great efficacy data uh, for anti-aging, for antioxidants, and for being anti-inflammatory. So of course, for the purpose of this cleanser, we're focusing on its anti-inflammatory properties. And that's because of the bioactive compounds, including flavonoids and polyphenols, which are known for their anti-inflammatory properties. These compounds help to reduce redness, swelling, and irritation on the skin, making it a great option for a calming skin cleanser. Okay, now for some essential oils. I've chosen chamomile, which is known to be a star when it comes to soothing and calming the skin. And also some sandalwood. Sandalwood contains sanitol, which is a bioactive compound that has strong anti-inflammatory and skin healing properties. This helps to reduce redness, puffiness, and irritation on the skin. And also it smells amazing. Just also gonna pop in some mixed tocopherol just to prevent oxidation of the plant oils. And of course, a preservative broad spectrum to reduce microbial contamination. Okay, so once that's cooled down completely, we will, and reached its full viscosity, we'll just check the pH. We're aiming for about 5.5. .5. Then we can pour that off. beautiful creamy foaming cleanser. See? And that's how easy it is to make a soothing cream cleanser. If you liked today's video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications on videos just like this and email us at info at personalcarescience.com.au for more free formulas. Happy formulating!